Hello, it's Sarah. I'm ready to grout, you guys, and I have a dilemma. I ended up just putting flowers all over the back. There's so many things you can do with the back of the pot because you're really not going to see it. Um, obviously, this is my focal point, and it's a round surface, so this is in the back, literally. <laughs> um, that being said, I kind of went crazy and just I just put flowers everywhere and I do love it. I just learned a couple things. So, number one, I should probably have at least made a border of top and bottom and I will the next time because when I grout, it's going to be very lumpy, bumpy and no rim to kind of make it oh, what am I trying to say you guys I think you know what I mean you, you're crafty people anyway so it's going to be I'm going to be putting grout down on here and it's just going to it's going to be awkward now if I had at least made a row of straight tiles that would be where all the grout kind of laid even with do you see what I'm saying so now I have to kind of blend up and there's deep pits where I didn't put anything. This is very different from any other mosaic I've done. For instance, when I did this class with David Jorbenin, you know, most, and this is a mixed media piece. He sold it as a mixed media piece. So meaning there are some tall tiles, taller being uh, width wise, the porcelain tiles are taller, so there. And then there's some beads. These glass beads are taller, and then the rest of them are pretty much glass is pretty level. This one's a little thicker, so it's bumpy, right? But it also has a very defined edge, so that the grout. And I taped this off when I grouted it. The grout has somewhere to end, and the background gives it a very linear feel. Um, so in the design, it was it kind of makes sense. Now, that being said, I don't know why he designed it the way he did, right? So then I go to my piece. I did do that on the top. I knew I wanted to create a, an outline, okay? But when it came to the back, I didn't think that way. I was just thinking, I'm just going to fill this with, with flowers. So... That's what I'm, I'm trying to help you guys understand is that when you're, I mean, anyone can do this. Don't get me wrong. You can glue tiles to a thing and it'll look great. You know, I'm not really worried that this isn't going to look great, but the fact that I know it's going to be harder for me to get the grout in all these little dips and pills and hills and, you know, and and then not pull it all out of those areas that's going to be the issue for me the other thing is what color to use now i have this pre-mixed grout in my stash and i've been using this and i quite like it um nothing wrong with it it lasts and and it's done me fine um most mosaic artists definitely mix their own and you know i'll probably get to that point as well but for now i've been using this now I think I would have liked to use alabaster, which is kind of like a creamy. Um, I'm going to show you a piece. This piece I grouted with the gray, and I've grouted most of my work with gray. I grouted um, the other two pots that I have with gray, but this one was done with alabaster. So actually, it, it's not the premix. This was a light gray. This is not alabaster, actually. I lied. I have one. Oop, here it is. This was done with a, uh, an old batch of, of grout that I mixed up myself. This one is done with alabaster. So this one, let me just put this over the... So you can see, because it was... Uh, well, I don't know. I just like the lightness. Now, a lot of people like to grout with black and they feel like that gives, but look at that blue popping with that light color. Um, the mirror really shows up nice. The lighter colors are where you're gonna have the issue. So like around this edge here, they're just not as popping um, because of the 
lighter grout line. So see? So that's, I think that the sugar skull really pops with that gray. And what would happen if I used the alabaster would be, it would be more muted, it would be more blended together, and only the things that were darker would pop. So it's, it's a totally different look. Anyway, <laughs> there's quite a bit to consider when you're doing a mosaic piece. So that being said, I don't have a lot of alabaster, so I'm going to open this. It's really not even halfway filled. It's kind of, I'd say it's a third. And because of all the dips, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I'm so tempted because I know this would look so good with that alabaster because of all of the dark. It's going to look fine with gray. So just for today, I'm going to use the gray. Um, I think the gray will look really nice on the face, but so would the alabaster. I'm just curious to know. Um, I see a lot of this back and forth on the um, Facebook page, Mosaic Mentoring. Many, many artists and crafters that do these pieces come to the, the Facebook page and they post their picture of their piece and they're like, now what color grout? So that's, it isn't just me, it is something to consider. And I guess just pick, going with black always is a way to go. Um, but for me, I I just really could see this with light in here instead of gray. Now, the gray is not dark. So anyway, I think I've made my decision. I'm going to go with the gray. And that's me being lazy because I could just jump in the car and go get the alabaster. But that it's not that big of a deal. That's the thing. Um, I will definitely pick up some more when I'm at the store because... Um, it's nice to have it on hand so that I have a choice to make. I can make that choice. Um, so I will be back in a minute. I'm going to get my, I got a Lazy Susan, and I'll be ready to grout. I'll be right there. All right, so this is my Lazy Susan. It's just like from Walmart. I think it was like $7 or something. But I realized that when I was working on my other uh, pot, it was handy to have this turntable because I don't know. This is such a messy job. I'm starting to respect and <laughs> accept, thank you, God, but um, that it is just messy. It's part of the process, but it's very necessary. So this is what I wanted to show you. So this is my pre-mixed grout. It's ready to go. And I'm just going to take a little and start on the face. And I'm going to show you the process for me. I just use my hands now because I'm so rough, um, I was really scratching the tiles when I would use a tool. I was using a little tool initially. Um, anyway, so this does the job. And you know what? I could have used the alabaster because this is, it goes far. So look, I'm going to go down along the top, kind of paint the edge with the, with the grout. That's what I'm going to do along this whole piece. Let me do a little bit further. So he's pretty much done. You just got to make sure you don't have any holes. So you're just pushing down. I have to do the same thing along the bottom. Push the grout up and paint the pot with it so that the you know, I mean, I, I don't really want the pot to show. That's the idea. Um, covered. So this, I'm going to try and pull off all the extra on the face. And I know above the lips, above, there he doesn't have lips, above the teeth was a big hole. So I'm just pushing and making sure that the grout is in there and there's no holes. Also, the, the cross is very, uh, it's much taller than the rest of the tiles, so there's going to be some, uh, and you can always get that excess out after. But right now I'm just making sure all the holes are filled. And I'm not going to do the whole thing on camera, but I just wanted you to see what my 
thinking is around this. So here's the bottom of the pot and I'm just kind of painting it. So let's turn this over and look at this spot. You see how there's like so many gaps? So let me try and I'm just going to push. Oh dear. I flung a little bit. Oop, there it goes. See what I mean? It's so messy. So I'm going to try and just pull it down and create a little, that's what it's going to be. Now I have to be really careful when I pull it off with my sponge. I use a damp sponge now to do, uh, I was trying the gr dry grout method, but I've decided I don't like that. That's just not my preference. And I, I figured that it's okay. Other people don't like it. I don't have to like it. <laughs> So see that looks, that's what I'm going to go for then. I'm just going to hopefully not have any gaps and it's going to be a gentle uh, graduation like from nothing to tile. That's my hope. So I'm going to continue this, working my way around the whole piece and I'll show you the finished piece today. It, it's going to be a little bit messy but I think it'll be close enough so and then I'll show you in a future video all right this is it it's like playing in the mud but I'm going to turn it over and again do this type of thing and like try to fill around the top lip and try to have a smooth kind of like yeah It'll never be what I hoped because I don't have that row of tile that's perfectly even, you know. It's just going to be a little more organic. I guess that's been the word of this project. But yeah, I think it's going to be great. I'm loving it. <laughs> all right? So see how I, get, I start to get rough? I have to be careful because I'll pull off all that nice edge that I just did. All right, I'm going to turn off the camera. I'll be back. All right, it's been sitting for like five minutes. I cleaned up my area. Now I'm going to use a sponge. And I tend to have it a little too wet, but it's supposed to be damp, damp, damp. And I'm just going to start to wipe away. Something magic happens when you use a damp sponge. It just melts the grout. But look at the mess of the inside. I don't know how to avoid that. But anyway, I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to rinse it. And I'm so rough, you guys. But I'm going to try and be gentle. And I'll show you what happens. So where's the face? Right here. So I'm just going to take this and go once. Turn it. And just keep trying to use a different part of it. And look how wet that is. It's really too wet. I'm really squeezing this thing. Go this way. Now I'm going to take a Q-tip and get in this little around the cross area. Can't find a Q-tip, there we go. Right here, there's a little extra. I generally put glass right up against the thing, so then You can see that glass that's underneath. And then even when it's dry, I can chip away at that. So I'm not going to go too heavily. Right here along the lip it looks good. Remember I told you it was kind of naked there? So I'm going to turn it and move on to the next place because this is pretty much all very easy to wipe off. There's no, you know, this is like a haze. They consider this a haze. They do. The, the experts. And I'm just going to wipe along 
Well, I should have done the bottom. Let me wipe along the bottom real quick. I'm going to rinse this off using two hands. Try to get it a little. There we go. And again, I'm going to take, I'm just going to keep turning my sponge. See, around the butterfly, it'll be higher because it's the, one of the taller. These petals are definitely higher. Oh, sorry, sunshine. Sunny wants to talk to me. So I'm just knocking back. And what the water does that I love, and this is why I, I didn't do well with the dry grout route, <laughs> is it just smooths the areas if I was rubbing too much, I end up rubbing away the grout out of the places I need it. So the water is such a more gentle process for me. And really I think what uh, creators are doing with the dry grout method is we don't want to put this stuff down our sinks. That's the main thing. So it's nice if you can just rub it off and throw it out in the trash, you know. so. Um, I do that. I throw the water, which is like this much water in a bucket, and I probably it's in a little pot here. I probably could use cleaner water because um, it's very dirty, but I put it out in the woods, and I know that's probably not ideal either, but I don't think that's, I think that's the lesser of two evils as far as you can't put grout down your sink. That's not a good idea. I think we're gonna be okay. Like this butterfly is at the top and the grout, you see what I'm saying about the lip? So I'm, I'm pretty happy. Now I still think the alabaster would have looked beautiful and that is a project for another time. I will do this again. Oops. So now if I pull off too much grout, I can always fill it and come back. So see, I see a little hole here. Let's see, oh, no it wasn't. So I'm just gonna be gentle and try to smooth. I should be rinsing, but you know what? I think we're good. I have one more little area. Then I'll let it sit for another few minutes and I'll come back and buff it up a little bit. But see, the sponge totally smooths the grout. So it's, I, I really like this technique better. Anything that's underneath, like the grout, I'll be able to do, and I think I'm good. Like right here I have, this thing is, you know, like I could probably, I probably have wiped away too much of the grout here See that? Let's see if I can smooth it. See, I just smoothed it. So I'm going to just look at the bottom. I think we're good. See how it just looks grouty? It doesn't look like the pot. So I think I did it. I think I'm pretty happy. I'm going to have to just let it sit and then I'm going to, because I have to let it dry a little more. So a good 10, 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and do a final. Um, but let me just I'm gonna dry my hands a little bit. I just want to see if there's any areas that I can pull off with a toothpick right now. Um, so just making sure that the grout isn't covering anything. mainly where there are these really tall um, areas. Like these are um, porcelain, so they're taller than the, and I say tall meaning thicker in width. So right in there, I just smoothed a little more. I have all these little silver So I'm just going to go around this here where it's, there's a, see, but I pulled it off. 
just want to make sure I can see anything that I put next to it. The butterflies. This one's really kind of just out there. He's just hanging out really far, but it looks okay. Like I painted it with the grout. Um, so I think, yeah, the butterfly looks good. This isn't hiding anything. Pretty happy. Um, everybody's looking good. The leaves are all um, glass, so they're definitely, they could get buried, so I just want to make sure. But I think we're good. I'm going to let it sit, and I'll be back with a, with a final buff up. <sighs> it's exciting. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to show you something else. So, like, I'm figuring it out as I go, but... I can take this cloth and I can hit the, so I'm, t I'm, and I'm just dipping it in my, my wet sponge to get a little bit of moisture on there to clean off the glass. And if I hit the grout and I like kind of, like just right there I did, I can take the sponge and just smooth the grout. So that's what I've been doing and it's really working out well because I'm getting clean glass and also nice smooth grout as well. So I just am really, really, really making sure I um, see like right in here, that's a lot of grout and I could mess it up with my finger but I'm just going to smooth it with the, with the sponge. So taking my time this way really doing each petal and if the grout doesn't come off like see that one this is a little higher here I am hitting the grout a little bit but it's not and like this one I do I want to see the whole petal so I need to rub a little bit harder to get the grout off of the glass look at my peace sign I love it and this is very thick see right there I'm I kind of but I can smooth the grout. Now that it's sat for a good 10 minutes or so, oh no, it's been 20. It's probably been a half an hour. Um, the grout isn't really as wet as it was. I can kind of rub and push a little more um, without being afraid that I'm going to really damage. So this is taller, so I'm just going to smooth it. I think this is what I've been... Um, wanting uh, this experience of cleaning the glass without damaging the grout. Um, it's working. I'm getting, I see what I'm supposed to do. See how tall those are? I didn't want to pull that grout from there, so I did it. It worked. Anyway, this is just me figuring it out as I go, and I figured I'd just turn the camera back on. Um, the final shine up will be after the grout is fully dry. So maybe like tomorrow, I can, and a lot of um, mosaic artists use a mixture of vinegar and water in a spray bottle. And that's how you get your final shine. I don't know what the, I think my mom used to use that too um, when she was cleaning glass windows and stuff with newspaper uh, as your, uh, wiping thing, but yeah, I mean, this is give it. This is doing it, babe. I'm filming. See, like these are still real cloudy. Um, this is very high, and I do want to go in this area where the blue one is. So let me come in. So I'll just do this little example. I want to get in here because he's a little buried in there. And it's okay that I'm knocking back the grout a little harder. And thank you again, Peter, because you shared with me that I need to leave some thin set under the piece. So I can even tell that I left some of these higher than others with the thin set. 
But see, I'm cleaning that off. It looks so good when I clean it off. This is very rewarding. <laughs> and this piece, but I don't want to mess up the grout. So I just focus on the glass. So I, I, hit, I hit the grout a little. I'm just going to see if I can smooth it. Yeah, it's not even damaging it that much. And the bottom looks fine. Yes, I would have preferred to um, have, like I said, a straight line of tile there. See, this looks a little damaged right here. And I could fill it with more grout, but I'm just going to smooth it. Yeah, I totally just smoothed that. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did. And I don't want to touch it. I'm going to leave that. And these are very low. They're small little tiles. So they're, they're down under the grout. So I'm just making sure. And I love that I cut these some of them in half. Now I couldn't fit a center on this yellow one. Because if I did it would have pushed the petals too far out. I was in the um, end of filling in with flowers and I couldn't fit it with a center but I could fit it without a center so I did that see how that it goes in the grout I don't even know if you can tell right there but it looks fine like when it dries it's going to be fine and this is the thing you can't really teach someone you can't teach them to know that they're going to be okay um and just let it do its thing, you know? Um, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. I've learned so much from YouTube as well. Um, and I'll tell you right now too, these butterfly shapes aren't coming up as shiny as a tile would, but that was good. That really, that worked pretty good. Um, I had these other kind that I forgot about. These were, uh, here, I think I have them on my desk. I think I got these from Michael or Hobby Lobby, and they're, they're stars, moons, hearts, flowers, butterflies, and they're glass. And I could have used more of them, but I just used the beads. Um, and that's fine, because I'll be doing it again. You know I will. See, so I'm digging the grout out a little bit there. Because I wanted to see that milliflory. I don't want anybody being buried. I'm just dipping my dry cloth in that, in a damp paper, um, a damp sponge to get it a little bit wet. And it just helps to pull that uh, grout. So yeah, oh look, this is, I'm in the final stretch here. Let me just get him undug undig those because they're much taller this is uh, the silver ones are made of porcelain porcelain tiles so they're taller but everybody's looking good so this little bit of buffing really got me where I want to be and then I'm really gonna have to just walk away and let it sit overnight and then so I'll give you a final look let me go up a little bit and this I'm telling you I think this would have looked so much better with a lighter grout I just think those the brightness of those flowers would have popped better but it is what it is and the sugar skull looks good Yay, you can totally tell he's a sugar skull. I'm looking in the camera, and I love it. And it'll be shinier. Let me just see if I can get this cross. See, like, it looks like it has grout right here, right here. It's not coming off, so that's all right. I'll, like I said, I might throw a little coat of, uh, what is it, glossy accents on there, you know? But I think he looks good. I think I'm, I got what I was hoping for. It just looks so much cuter in my head. <laughs> but I think he's cute. 
I'm pretty happy. And look at the top and bottom. So see, it definitely looks like it, it's blended. It doesn't look like it went to pot. Like, the whole bottom's painted too, so, with the grout. I'm not sure. Eh, I think it looks fine. It's mine. I'm going to put, um, see, like right there looks a little... I'm going to put little um, feet on the bottom of it. So I'm just checking the edge. I think it looks fine. I did a good job. Yay, I'm pretty pleased with myself. I mean, the top, it is what it is too. I mean, it just definitely, I had nowhere to go. It kind of just, you know, but it looks gray. I mean, I don't have any um, pot showing. And that's that. All right, you guys. Now I'm done. OMG. I like it. I'm happy. It's a lot of work. All right, thanks for watching.